Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Today I am again back with one most important topic of Ansible that is Ansible roles. Let us understand more details about Ansible roles. Why exactly it is used? Why it's so important? And how exactly in industry we guys are using Ansible roles? So, first thing comes to our mind. What exactly Ansible role does for us? So, Ansible roles allow you to develop reusable automation components by grouping and encapsulating related automation artifacts like configuration file, template, tasks, and handlers. In a layman language, what exactly it means? Suppose you have 100 different kind of tasks which you want to do. Now, each and every task, if you will start creating your playbooks, it will be really difficult to manage if whenever you have to automate your whole infrastructure. So what we do generally, we create multiple roles. Like one role will be to install suppose database components. One role will be to uh, deal with operating system kernel parameters. One role can be related to dealing with network level parameters. One role can only be related to dealing with config level changes. So multiple roles we create to make sure that each and every category of task is handled properly and efficiently. With roles, the categorization of work is possible. And the another most important point which we have to remember about roles is it gives you capabilities to reuse your existing playbooks like in a team somebody has written a playbook to install databases now if some other team want to do the setup for installing databases they don't need to write those playbooks again instead they can use that database rule inside their existing playbook and they can call only those benefits or features available in that particular role roles gives you capabilities to make reusability of your tasks now whenever you create the roles multiple things are created together while creating the roles we'll see it practically as well so let us see what all stuff is getting created when we are creating a roles so in my system what i want to do i want to create a role so what is the syntax to create the role ansible hyphen galaxy init and then your role name whatever the role name suppose here i want to give the role name as devops class role it's okay so you can see role devops class was created successfully now let us list that role here so you can see one role is existing devops class role let us go inside that role and see what all stuff is created. So, when you have created the roles, you can see multiple things created. Template got created, file got created, readme.md, handlers, defaults, meta, where's, tests, and tasks. Now, let us learn about each of these components. So, whenever I have created a role, a role directory structure contains directories like defaults, where's tasks files templates meta handlers each directory must contain a main.yml file which contained a relevant content let us look little closer to each directory so as he told let us start with the default suppose so cd or here you do cat defaults and in the defaults there will be a file called main.yml so what default file contains it contains default variables for the role variables is default variables in default have the lowest priority so they are easy to override means in the previous lecture we have seen what is variables in ansible so in the default section of role your variables will be written but there are high chances that the priority of these variables are very less so this can be overwritten easily we'll see how exactly it can be overwritten the next section is where section so here also you can see where 
so in the var section contains variables for the role variables in var have highest priority than variables in default so default and var section both contains variables but if you are defining variables inside the var section this will have more priority than the variables which are defined in default file so these two default and var are containing your variables related to your playbooks inside the role now what is task section this task section is the most important section and it contains main list of steps to be executed by the role means actual playbooks all the actual playbooks will be written inside task section in the role yeah here now you have file section what this file section contains so this contains file which we want to copy to remote server we don't need to specify a path or resources stored in this directory so you don't have to deal with the files uh, path you just define the uh, you just put all the files which you want to copy to the target location inside this files directory and everything will be taken care when you will write your playbooks accordingly templates we discussed about templates in the previous lectures also so template it contains file template which supports modifications from the role we use jinja2 templating language for creating templates we we know template is something like copy module only but template allows us to get the runtime values as well so template section will contain all the template details inside the template section meta sections is mainly for containing metadata of role like who has written this role what are the supported platform what are the dependencies so all metadata information about your role will be written inside the meta sections and then the most important section is again handler section so in the handler sections it contains handler which can be invoked by the notify directives and are associated with the service so uh, I, i hope we all are already aware about all the term like what is handler what is vars what are tasks what are files so now let us start doing it practically in our systems so first i am doing one thing some softwares i have installed previously i'm just removing it from there okay so now uh, let us go back to the previous section and here i have created one role previously this one yes test 1 2 let us go inside the roles and see what all sections are there so again the same all all details are available here now the most important section is task section so go inside the task section and here what i am doing i am creating one main.yml file is there one more task i am creating user.yml here i want to simply i am just writing our module nothing else you have to put just the module details so i am using a user module and i am giving the name of user so name of user is suppose let us give here devops test okay and then i want to create that user now one more playbook i am creating here that is maybe to install software so install dot yml and here just put hyphen name installs something and you can use the yum module and what i want to install i want to install maybe httpd and then a state column latest and in this target system just remove it as httpd is present so httpd hyphen y so our target system is also clear now just save this one also so now here you can see in the task sections i have three playbooks install.yml user.yml and one is main.yml so what you have to do go inside the main.yml and what you have to do you remove everything and just whatever the tasks you want to call here what you have to do name you have to put the name or directly using the include you can use or here i can say user create and two tasks i have created so how you have to call the existing task include underscore task and whatever the task name is inside inside the task section again one more module i have created there 
main colon install shop and what was the name of tasks let us confirm so it was install.yml so include now to how to call that tasks inside this main main task so include underscore tasks colon and your task name task name is install.yml so now you have two tasks one is user.yml and one is install.yml now that's it so role section is completed right now what i want to do i have two tasks to do one task to install something one task to create the user and all these two tasks i am calling inside the main task of our, our role now let us go back so go back to your previous sections and here suppose i i am creating a new playbook now so my, my simple playbook is test role.yml what i want to do i just i am telling that this playbook will do nothing only this playbook will call the role which i have created so roles will be roles will be called by this playbook so what i am doing name which all machines i have to run this and then roles and inside the roles whatever the name of your role is existing in this location just put the name so i have created a role called yes test one two that's it now what you have to do this simple playbook test role this playbook just i have to execute and see it is able to call all the features of role section or not so ansible playbook test role.yml hyphen i and then inventory detail let us see what happens so create user is successful and you can see it uh, it is calling this yes test one to role so first it is trying to create the user so user is getting created and it is automatically calling the user.yml task now again it is trying to install other tasks so let us see so you can see execution is completed successfully and two changes has been done so now if in the target system you will check you will be able to see sttpd software is also installed so sttpd software is installed and another task uh, which was to create the user so let us see the user is created or not so in cat slash etc slash password file the user should be there so you can see devops test user was created so what exactly the benefit we have seen here that i have a existing role and just i have to call that role inside any of our playbooks and i can use it easily so the reusability of playbooks is possible the another important benefit is anybody else has written the roles you just download the role in your system and call it inside your playbooks so these are the benefits of ansible roles i hope you guys are clear about it you guys have any doubts please post in the comment sections i'll try to cover those doubts as well this is really very important topic in coming lectures we'll do all these stuff in real time practical lab exercise as well thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time